Hi everyone, uh, I'm glad you're here today. We are going to read a book together um, on unique learning and then we're going to answer some questions. So let's get started. The name of my book <laughs> is called Rules, Laws, and the First Week of School. Yesterday we talked about laws and today we're going to talk about how they relate to school. Uh, we're going to read chapter one today, so rules on the bus. Now, some of you ride buses and some of you don't ride buses, but you know what? Every once in a while, you'll ride a bus, whether it's being on a field trip or you're taking a bus to get someplace in the community. Um, so these are always good things to know when we're riding a bus. So let's see what this has to say. Chapter one, rules on the bus. Paige is excited for her first day at her new school. She waits for the bus and thinks about the new people she will meet. The bus pulls up. She sees a stop sign come out on the side of the bus. She also sees flashing lights. She wonders why the bus has a stop sign and flashing lights. Hmm, why do you think a bus has a stop sign and flashing lights? Probably to stop cars. Um, can you point to the stop sign on this page? Where is the stop sign on this page? Here it is. Yes, a stop sign is red. Can you sign or say red? Good job. Paige gets on the bus. Paige sits down. The bus driver points to a sign above her head. These are the bus rules, says the bus driver. You must follow these rules while riding on the bus. Here they are. Let's go over and see what they are. Paige reads the rules. The first rule is to stay in your seat. The next rule is to not walk down the aisle when the bus is moving. One bus rule says to use quiet voices when at a railroad track. Paige wonders why staying quiet at a railroad crossing is a rule. Hmm, why do you think staying quiet at a railroad crossing is a rule? Maybe because we need to be able to hear the train, we need to be safe to make sure that before we cross the railroad tracks, there isn't a train coming. And that helps the driver to hear for a train when we are quiet. Paige sees another girl on the bus. She says, hi, I'm Paige. Do you know why we have to be quiet at a railroad track? I'm Tiffany. We have to be quiet so the bus driver can hear if there is a train coming. It is the rule to keep us safe, says Tiffany. That's what we said, wasn't it? Um, can you point to the railroad crossing sign? Where is the railroad crossing sign? That's right, it is right here. The railroad crossing sign is yellow. Yellow, can you sign or say yellow? Good job. Paige tells Tiffany she has never been on a school bus before. She was surprised to see the stop sign and flashing lights as she was getting on the bus. Oh, all of the school buses have those. When drivers see a bus with the stop sign and flashing lights, they must stop. It's the law, says Tiffany. That's what we said earlier, wasn't it? Can you point to the stop sign again? Where is that stop sign? Here it is, very good. And do you remember what color this stop sign is? Can you sign or say what color the stop sign is? It is red, very good, red. Paige thinks, thanks Tiffany for helping her. She is excited for her new school. She is excited to meet new people. She knows that it's her responsibility to learn the rules at school and follow them. She wonders what other new rules and laws she will have to learn. Okay, so that was chapter one. Now let's do some comprehension questions. Okay, so let's review the bus rules first and then let's answer some questions. 
bus rules. Walk on the sidewalk. Wait for the bus stop. What's this one? What is this sign right here? This is a stop sign. Wait until the bus stops. Wait for the flashing lights and stop sign. Walk to the bus. Do we want to run to the bus? No, we want to walk to the bus. Walk down the aisle to an empty seat. Stay seated. Talk quietly. Wait until the bus stop and the bus door is open to stand up. Remember to stay seated until the bus doors are open and walk in a line to get off the bus. Okay, school bus rights and responsibilities chart. We're gonna fill this in together. This is what you have the right to, to do, but this is your responsibility. So we're gonna fill this in. I have a right to wait for the school bus, but I also have a responsibility to talk quietly and not shout, wait for the bus st to stop and open the door, wait for the flashing lights and stop sign, wait at the bus stop safely, quickly and safely find a seat to sit down. Hmm, wait, you have the right to wait for the bus stop, but what do you think is the answer for this one? Wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open? Let's see. Oh, that's not right. Let's try again. Wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open. Hmm, let's try again. Well, we know it's not this one. Wait for the school bus. Hmm, what about wait at the, at the bus stop safely? Let's try this one. Wait at the bus stop safely. Very good job. Okay, I have a right to get on the school bus, but I have a responsibility to talk quietly and not shout, wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open, wait for the flashing lights and stop sign, or quickly and safely find a seat to sit down. Hmm. Are we going to wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open? Or are we going to wait for the flashing lights and stop sign before we cross the street? Hmm, let's try this one. Wait for the flashing lights and stop sign. Very good. All right, here's the next one. I have the right to sit on the school bus, but I have a responsibility to talk, quietly and not shout, wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open, or quickly and safely find a seat to sit down. Hmm, well, you have the right to sit on the school bus, but you also need to make sure that you are quickly and safely finding a seat to sit down. Let's see if that's right. Quickly and safely find a seat and sit down. Very good, all right. I have the right to talk, talk to, my, to friends, my friends, or but I have the responsibility to talk quietly and not shout, or wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open. Hmm, well, we're talking about talking to friends, so I think that this might be the best option. Talk quietly and not shout. Let's try. Talk quietly and not shout. Nice job. Okay, last one. I have the right to get off the bus at my bus stop, at my stop, but I also have a responsibility to wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open. That's our only choice. Let's pick it. Wait for the bus to stop and the doors to open. Nice job, you guys. Thanks for reading chapter one with me. Tomorrow we'll read chapter two. See you then.